Cancer and its treatment can often have an impact on a person's diet or cause problems that can make it hard for them to eat. Registered dietitian Adeline Wong specialises in oncology nutrition. In this Canopy TV episode, Adeline talks about how she helps patients navigate complex dietary needs and provides some insight into how people going through a cancer journey can maintain a healthy, well-balanced diet to improve their strength and wellness. So good nutrition plays an important role for um, a cancer patient going through their treatment journey. Good nutrition will assist them to manage the knocks of treatment. It gives them enough energy and maintain their physical strength so that they can continue the planned treatment, which is, you know, often, you know, tough on most patients. So they could see me essentially at any point in their cancer journey, just depending on the patient's needs. But um, generally speaking, earlier is best. There's good evidence to show that um, for patients that actually get um, dietitian support for nutrition early on in their cancer diagnosis. So the plan would involve a myriad of things depending on what their current nutritional status is and then what their needs are, their requirements. And I will take in mind the side effects or the symptoms that's, that you're experiencing as well um, in formulating that plan. So that could be one of many things. It could be if you've got swallowing um, difficulties, then it could be adjusting the texture or the consistency of food. So we'll look at ways in which we can modify how food is made at home so that it's the right texture and consistency for you to have so you can still maintain your nutrition. Or if you find that you're not eating enough to meet your nutritional needs, then we'll look at suggesting suitable foods that are high in energy or high in protein to have and looking at enriching or fortifying the um, family favorite foods that you have. So I definitely would encourage people to carry on as much as they can with their normal living and if eating out is part of it, I would definitely encourage you to continue. So just being crafty in terms of how you make those choices when you're eating out, I think that would be a good way around it. If I've got to give one piece of advice, the advice is to reduce food fears um, and to actually get good evidence-based facts so that you can actually have the freedom to eat and, and eat at ease.